Hello everybody, my name is Alexi Michael, owner at Silver Arrow Salon, and today we have Mike over here. And as you guys could see, Mike's hair in the front tends to fall on his face a lot. The weight in the front is sitting too heavy, hence why it falls in the front. So what I'm gonna do is actually round off the front and remove some of that weight and use that guide to connect the back. So going short to long from the apex and rounding off the front a little more. Um, from there, as we could see, the shape of the haircut right now is pretty round, right? And with men, we, we try to create something that has a little bit more strength, hence why we create something that has a square shape instead. So I'm gonna take advantage of this and try to really establish a nice square shape, which will give a lot more structure and strength to this haircut. From there, I wanna play with some of the contrast and go with a skin fade and then blend in the beard as well. Now it's time for me to apply the product and you're probably wondering why am I not going to blow dry this first. So here I have the Silver Arrow Apollo's clay which is our matte clay and what tends to happen is when I put a matte product when the hair is damp it dilutes in the hair so then we have a lot more control over our structure and shape when we're styling and blow drying this hair. So what tends to happen is if I apply this when the hair is completely dry it would sit on top and then it would weigh the hair down. So the way I'm gonna do this, you don't wanna to take too much, especially since his hair is quite fine. We'll take about, about this much, apply it in our hand and make sure that when we're spreading in our hand, when we look at our hand before we apply it, we don't necessarily see it, but we can feel it. I'm gonna to explain to you a couple of tricks that I use that really, really help me when it comes to fading. Trick number one is any guard past the two, you wanna use your comb to comb the hair. 
Because of the fact that if the hairs will be longer, it'll be hard for you to brush the hairs down with the actual brush. So write this down. Anything past the number two guard, we use the comb to brush the hair, okay? Trick number two is the way you fade this. This is the, one of the most important keys. You know how they say it's the flick of the wrist? Technically, it's not. It's the movement of the arm. The problem is with the flick of the wrist, it's very inconsistent, the flick on where you're gonna flick the hair, okay? But instead, if we look at my arm, if we use the movement of my elbow and my arm, then that's more consistent than something that does this. So to establish a nice shape when it comes to square shape, especially when it comes to fading or anything that you're trying to remove weight from, using a number two, or even your fading techniques in general, don't think of the flick of the wrist. Think of the movement of the arm, okay? Another trick, the number one thing that I always try to explain in my classes is that we always want to tilt the head. And the reason why I say that, it's a lot easier for me to, to see the density of the hair, the shadows, there's a better visual for me when I tilt the head, okay? Not only that, if the head's tilted like this and I'm trying to establish sh my shape, regardless of that movement of the arm, it's still gonna be inconsistent opposed to coming into it, okay? So now I'll show you how that's done.
For my final look, I'm gonna apply some texturizing powder. This is our own Silver Arrow Poseidon's volumizing dust. And what we're gonna do is add a lot more texture to the hair. Then at this point, I'll just spread it with my hands. And that will create a lot more texture to the hair. So this is pretty much my final look on Michael. I hope you liked it. Uh, please leave me some feedback in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.